All right, in this video, we're discussing section 10-4 on the perimeters and areas of similar figures. Okay, we'll talk a lot about the ratio of perimeters and areas of similar figures. Okay, specifically, how to find the ratio of perimeters and areas of similar figures when we're given the scale factor and how the scale factor is related to the ratio of the perimeters and the ratio of the areas. Okay, also, how to use the scale factor to find the area of one figure when you're given the area of the other figure. Okay, also finding the scale factor when you're given the areas of two similar figures. Okay, we'll start off with a geometry sketch pad um, investigation. Um, here I've given you the scale factor. Now, first of all, this um, transformation we have here is a dilation. Okay, and just to remind you that a dilation gives you similar figures. So the two triangles you have, the, the green one and the tan one, are similar. Okay, here is um, the scale factor. Um, here's the perimeter of the green triangle. Here's the perimeter of the tan triangle, and I've given you the ratio between them. Um, it's the tan triangle divided by the green triangle. Okay, and as we move this around, it will stay similar. Okay. But we'll notice that the scale factor and the ratio of the perimeters will always stay the same. So these two numbers right here will always stay um, the same. Okay, And that's because the ratio of the perimeters is the exact same as the scale factor. Okay, And more generally, anything dealing with lengths between two similar figures will have the same ratio as the scale factor. Um, whether it be the circumference or the perimeter or the radius or um, any um, any two lengths on similar figures will have the same ratio as the scale factor. Okay, for the areas here again, I have the scale factor. Um, I have the area of the green triangle, the area of the tan triangle, and the ratio of those areas. Now the first thing we'll see is that they're not the same, um, so that's not what we're looking for. But as we move this around, again, we say they're still similar figures. Okay, um, They're not the same, but as we look at some easy numbers, uh, we will notice that if we take the scale factor um, and multiply it by itself or square it, we'll get this, um, the ratio of the areas. Okay, So if you take the scale factor and square it, you'll get the ratio of the areas. And and the reason for that is that area is not a one-dimensional thing like lengths are. It's a two-dimensional thing. And so in each dimension, you have that scale factor affecting it. And so we have the scale factor times the scale factor or the scale factor squared. Okay? The textbook um, says this. Um, if the scale factors of two similar figures is A over B, then the ratio of the perimeters is the exact same thing, A over B. And the ratio of their areas is a squared over b squared, or that scale factor squared. The same thing that we just saw in, in the, the geometry sketchpad file. OK, so let's use that idea. Um, these two trapezoids are similar. And the ratio of their lengths are 6 over 9. Now, it'll be helpful to us as we do some problems to get used to simplifying that. So I'm going to simplify that to be 2 thirds. OK, question A, what is the ratio, smaller to larger, of their perimeters. Well, we just learned that the, the ratio of this um, perimeters is the same as the ratio of the corresponding sides. So it must be 2 over 3. Okay. Question B, what is the ratio of their um, areas will be that ratio squared. To, so 2 squared is 4 and 3 squared is 9. So the ratio of the areas of these two figures is 4 over 9. Okay, um, down here at the bottom, I'll call it number two. Um, two similar polygons have corresponding sides in the ratio of five to seven. What is the ratio larger to smaller of their perimeters? Okay, now we're going to go larger to smaller. So the ratio of the perimeters will be seven over five. Okay, and the ratio of the areas will be that ratio squared or 49 over 25. Okay, now using, using those ratios, if the area of the smaller rectangular pentagon is 20, sorry, 27 
0.5 um, centimeters squared. What is the best approximation for the area of the larger regular pentagon? Well, um, I'm dealing with the ratio of areas. Okay, so I'll take the, the ratio of the side lengths, um, 4 over 10, which simplifies to be 2 over 5. Okay, now if I take that ratio of side lengths and square it, I'll get the ratio of the area. So 2 squared is 4, 5 squared is 25. Okay, that's equal to the ratio of the areas, and the smaller one, the smaller one is 27.5. So I will correspond that with, in the proportion, um, with the smaller um, length. Okay, and the area of the longer one I'll call x. And it's a simple proportion, so I cross multiply. 25 times 27.5 is 687.5, and that's equal to 4x divided by 4 divided by 4. And x, the length, the area of the larger pentagon, is 171.875. Um, centimeters squared. Okay. A similar problem. If the area of the smaller triangle is about 39 square feet, what is the area of the larger triangle? Okay, the exact same thing. What's the ratio of the side length is 12 over 9, which I'll simplify to be 4 over 3. Okay, and I'm dealing with the ratio of the areas. So I'll take this ratio and square it. Okay, and I know the smaller one is about 39 square feet, so I will correspond that with the smaller um, side of the fraction of the scale factor, 39, and I use the top to be x, and I will cross multiply. So 9 times x is 9x, 16 times 39 is 624 divided by 9, divided by 9, x is equal to 69.33 um, feet squared. Okay? Um, one last problem. Well, let's do two more. Um, the areas at, at right or above are similar. Okay, the smaller one has an area of 50 square centimeters, and the larger one has an area of 89 square centimeters. What is the scale factor? Now, we're not looking for the scale factor of the areas, but the scale factor of the side lengths. Okay, so I'll, I will uh, find that by finding the ratio of the areas. Okay, and just to make it easier, I'm going to simplify this. They both are even, so I both will divide by 2. I get 25 over 49. Okay, now this is the ratio of the scale factor squared. So I will take the square root of 25 over the square root of 49, and I get 5 over 7. Okay, so this must be the scale factor of the sides, because if I square that, I'll get 25 over 49, which is the same ratio as 50 over um, 98. Okay, last problem. Um, the areas of two similar rhombus, um, rhombuses, or rhombi, are... 48 square meters and 128 square meters. What is the ratio of their perimeters? Now, remember that the ratio of perimeters is the same as the ratio of the side lengths. Okay, so to, here's the ratio of the areas. Okay, um, 4 goes into both of these numbers. So 48 divided by 4, 128 divided by 4 is 32. Oh. 4 still goes into them. So I have 3 over 8. Okay, so the ratio of the area is 3, oh, is three over 8. So the way I'll find the ratio of their perimeters is by taking the square root of that. Now, I won't do it for each side because it won't simplify anyway. So the square root of 3 over 8, I'll just give my answer as a decimal, is 0.6, um, 0.61. I would say is the ratio of their perimeters. Okay, in this video we discussed um, 
perimeters and areas of similar figures, um, the ratio be between um, the scale factor and the perimeter and the scale factor and the, the ratio of the areas. Um, so hopefully by now you can find the ratio of, um, of the perimeters or the um, ratio of the areas of similar figures when you're given the scale factor. Hopefully now you can find the area of one figure when given the scale factor and the area of the other figure and also to find the scale factor when you're given the area of, of two similar figures.